What's going on guys, Prodigy here, and this might be a weird video to come back to, but I thought that when I came back, I kind of wanted to go and hit it with a home run and provide a video with decent content, and uh, here we go. So I recently just found a person named uh, Lil Lunchbox. Uh, she amassed over 23,000 followers on Facebook and over 1,500 uh, subscribers on YouTube. Uh, so basically she, uh, She's a clown. Uh, she dresses up uh, with clown makeup. Uh, she shaved her head, and uh, that's her whole persona is kind of a clown. But it's more than a persona. It's more of like a lifestyle. And uh, so let's get to the beginning. There's a video called The Evolution of Lil Lunchbox, which basically shows how she uh, changed over the years. So she started off as kind of like a, a quote-unquote like normal person, uh, you know, just a regular person and she ended up meeting her boyfriend, and then she became a clown. So, this whole story has a lot of different loopholes into it, and it, it kind of shows the psyche of who this person is. And uh, at any point in this video, I don't mean to make fun of her at any point. I just want to go and provide all the facts of what this dumpster fire has kind of turned into, uh, this dumpster fire content. Uh, if I could compare it to anybody, I would have to compare it to Onision, uh, for example. That's kind of the closest I can compare it to, but I'll, most of this channel is about the drama. And that's why I'm making a video about it, is because there's a lot of uh, abuse in the videos from both ends. Um, whether it's like stalking... Okay, so I went to Robin's mom's house. She told me that he went to work today, which is unusual for him. He doesn't work on Saturdays, typically. So I'm on my way right now to his work. I'm just gonna wait outside. Okay, so here's the car. I am just gonna stay in right here. It's fucking cold as shit. Physical abuse or mental abuse. There's a lot of abuse uh, within these videos. So. There's three main characters that you want to keep in your head during the whole thing. There's Lil Lunchbox, which is the, the clown girl. Then there is uh, Robin, which is her husband. And then there is Ingrid, which is uh, her husband's ex-girlfriend. So, I guess during their relationship at some point, he had uh, cheated on Lil Lunchbox with Ingrid, his ex-girlfriend. And at some point, the lunchbox began talking to her, and then they ended up getting into a relationship. Um, so it, I, I don't know if it would be considered a polyamorous, because I'm not sure about all parties agreeing, because there's a lot of different situations that happened. For example, there's a video where the lunchbox was putting on uh, the make on make like makeup on Ingrid, and then Robin comes in and uh, has a huge fit. Robin. No, you said what the cluck. Fuck. What the f cluck. Is this about? What? What do you mean? You said you weren't gonna be here. It's my home. I have the right to be here. You said you were gonna watch your mom's cats. I did. Overnight. What? What are you doing here? I'm here with my girlfriend. Really? Yes. Like, what are you two doing together? You don't even like each other. You got nothing in common except for me. Robin, you I'm know. I'm the only thing you have in common. You know I'm gonna fuck. Film you. Like I can. Smell your smelly ass pussy from here, man. This is disgusting. What the what fuck are you talking about? What is this? Throwing shit at me? You're being disrespectful! Are you like, kidding me? Why are you I, being- I can't be here, right? And then there was another situation where uh, the lunchbox actually went uh, through Robin's Google search history to find out what he had been looking up and he looked up a hotel and I guess he had lied that he was going out of town or something. So she ended up going to this hotel and started uh, asking the person behind the counter if she had uh, seen Robin. So I found this in the fucking search history. He tried to fucking delete it, but not on my motherfucking watch. He's not as computer savvy as I am. I know his ass is staying here. Like, why else would he fucking look it up and delete it? One last little fucking hurrah with his side chick, Ingrid. This place, he said he was going out of town. This is in the middle of the fucking city, a 15 minute bus ride from here. 
And he told me, I can't see you for, for days because I'm gonna go out of town to Gothenburg, which is a four hour train ride. And this motherfucker's in the city. I'm coming for you, Robin. I'm coming. Someone named Robin Saleen is staying here. I can't tell you. But what, if, but what if I tell you I'm his wife? Okay, then you have his phone number, so you need to call me. Okay, but... I'm not allowed. So, oh, like I'm you, so sorry. You, you couldn't just tell me if he was here? What if I tell you it's like a... I'm just concerned that he's like seeing someone. And obviously, at a hotel, you can't really give out people's names. It's kind of a... It's kind of a, a normal thing. You can't really do that. So also the location that they're in is I believe she's uh, an American or Canadian. And uh, I believe they're in Sweden. Because uh, I know that in one of her videos she mentions um, that she's in Sweden with him. And then uh, during the whole hotel fiasco she said something about, uh, oh, the damn Swedes or something. So I, I can assume that they live in Sweden. Um, yelling, fighting. On Facebook, she leaked text messages um, with her and Robin. And overall, it's just kind of an abusive relationship for both ends. Um, because she definitely does things that are uncalled for, and he does too, which I'm actually going to show a clip of that. He ends up uh, shaving her whole head. So I'm just like, I don't understand like what the problem is. I don't know why we have to do this shit time and time again. Like, just like petty, stupid shit that I don't- What the fuck are you doing? Why? Stop! Stop it! What the fuck is wrong? It's crazy. And this kind of is what sparked the fire to want to make this video. Of all of this. Um, I, I honestly think that she's at some fault uh, for some of the things that she has done, but Overall, everything being posted online for everybody to see is kind of a strange thing to do. Usually when you have a fight with somebody, you're not going to want to post it all over the internet. I, I feel like she's posting these videos as kind of like a, a diary per se, but I, I feel like it's there's a, an, a place, a time and a place, and uh, I, I feel like these kind of things shouldn't be shared on the internet where... Any amounts of people can see her videos. A lot of them have a bunch of dislikes. She has supporters of people saying, you know, you do you and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. I feel like this is a, kind of a mental thing where you should probably go and get um, help. Instead of posting all these videos online, I feel like help is probably the better solution than to try and ruin each other's lives. Um, and, uh, you know, that's all I had to say. Throughout the video, there would be clips showing uh, different points that I've made. And uh, this is kind of a weird video to get back into, but I figured, you know, why not? It's an interesting topic to talk about. I'm not here to make fun of uh, Lil Lunchbox by any means. Uh, she's obviously a person that's uh, going through a lot of trouble. And uh, I hope that she gets the help that she needs. Anyways, guys, Prodigy's out. Peace, peace. The Claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive Styles not going anywhere.